Happy to see you here on my channel Mathematics and today we have a really great tricky relaxing challenge 4 times 4 minus 4 divided by 4 so it's like a challenge all the time we have 4 and on the first side this is nothing hard for us because we have multiplication, subtraction, division but in the same way a lot of students make this mistake a lot of students told this question absolutely wrong so right now let's test our school knowledge let's check our answers in the end of the video let's test our answers in 30 seconds so it will be really interesting pause the video try to solve it by yourself A, B, C, D, 4 option so choose one option where think it's a correct answer to this challenge and write your option down into the comment section let's check our answers so first of all i want to rewrite our challenge so what do we have right here we have four yeah here's our challenge four and inside parentheses we have four minus four divided by divided by four okay here's our here's our challenge and a lot of students say okay let's for example subtract first then divide then multiply for another student say okay let's multiply let's divide let's subtract so as you can see a lot of combinations right here and obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer right and if we scan this challenge so right here we have multiplication right here we have subtraction right here we have division yeah so as you can see we have three mathematical operation and if one student tells okay let's for example multiply then subtract then divide and another students for example say okay i want to divide at first then i want to subtract then i want to multiply for example and then a lot of a lot of students say their own combination so it turns into a big argument because a lot of students solve this challenge with different answer and it's not good in terms of math. In terms of math we should know what is the correct order to do this problem because this is our randomly method we solve these challenges wherever we want and it's not good solution in terms of math. Right here for example let's look at this PEMDAS order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world which tells us what the what is the correct order of mathematical operations. So let's do this. So first of all let's, let's rewrite our challenge and right now let's scan what elements do we have and let's find what is the correct order 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 to do this problem so this PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom so first we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses next we should evaluate exponents next we should evaluate multiplication division group and the last step we should evaluate addition and subtraction group so multiplication division group then addition subtraction in the end okay so right now let's scan what elements do we have right here because if you start with the beginning so right here we have parentheses at first step yeah so we can easily say that we have parentheses right here so we should evaluate we need to evaluate the expression inside parentheses at first so first step we find our parentheses part next step let's scan where do we have maybe exponents right here maybe four square four to the fourth power we don't have any of those we don't have any powers right here so we just we just skip this part and obviously if we look closely right now inside parentheses we have a complicated expression so it's not easy expression like uh, 4 plus 4 4 divided by 4 we have subtraction we have division so right now we need to understand what is the correct order of operation so first of all let's scan what do we have right here we have subtraction right here and we have division right here okay division right here subtraction right here and as i told before higher position means higher priority so it implies the division has the higher position with about this uh, subtraction okay so division is our second step and the third step is subtraction so as you can see right here division is our second step because division has the higher priority than subtraction so we have four what do we have right here four and inside parentheses four minus four divided by four equal to equal to one so really great so we complete this division part and right now we can easily complete the subtraction part and moreover you don't need this order of operation because this is very basic subtraction four minus one everyone can easily just solve this so we have four times four minus one equal to equal to three we don't have addition yeah and the last step is obviously multiplication we have this step right here so our our last step is multiplication this is our fourth step so as you can see first step parentheses inside parentheses we have a complicated expression so division then subtraction is a correct order according to this PEMDAS and the third step and the, the fourth step is multiplication so four times three equal to equal to 12. This is option D, a correct answer to this challenge. Definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. Maybe you solve this challenge in another way. Also write your suggestion into the comment section. How do you solve this challenge? What is your correct answer? Because a lot of countries, a lot of orders of operations. So also write your suggestion down into the comment section. What is your approach? How can you solve this challenge? According to the most popular order of operation, correct answer is D. This is 12. So thank you for your time. Thank you for your support. See you in the next videos. Also write your suggestion down in the comment section. Also check this and in your calculator but don't use a regular calculator because if for example if you plug in 4 and 4 sometimes calculators gives you 16 because calculator don't know what do you have further 
you need to put the whole entire problem and then your calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation then a calculator see okay i have multiplication parentheses subtraction division and then a lot of calculators works according to PEMDAS, so 100 you will get a correct answer so thank you for your time see you in the next videos and have a great day